Hi, my name is Mark Salswiedel, and I've been a writer and editor for over 35 years, and I've published lots of stories and novels over the years. And I'm going to talk to you today about dialogue tags, which are sometimes called speech tags. Basically, they're used to identify a speaker when there are two or more in the scene. And certainly with two, it's a lot easier to manage without a lot of dialogue tags. But when you get into three or more characters, they start to become a little bit more important. But it's important only to use dialogue tags to avoid confusion. If you have too many dialogue tags in your manuscript, it's likely to interrupt the flow of the scene. So, one of the ways that we get around interrupting the flow and distracting from what's happening in the scene is to use the same dialogue tags as much as possible. So, he said, she said, they said, or he asked, she asked, it asked. Occasionally, you may want to add a little bit of uh, variation, but mostly just to describe the quality of the speech. So maybe something like, he whispered, or she shouted. You also don't want to use a verb in your dialogue tag that would be sort of incompatible. So he laughed, um, you can't really talk when you're laughing. or. He said as he slurped on his straw is just as incompatible. You know, you can't say anything while you're inhaling through a straw. Some people use dialogue tags way too much, and that's bad. I was recently in a writer's group where I heard somebody reading his writing, and <laughs> he had so many dialogue tags. It was like almost every other line of dialogue sometimes several in a row had a dialogue tag and it was like a rhythm of blah 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 I had no idea what was going on in the scene I just kept hearing set 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 all the time in one case he had a dialogue tag on this piece of dialogue hi I'm Roger and this is Sylvia well duh <laughs> Roger probably said it and I've found writers who are so loath to use dialogue tags that it's often confusing who's talking. There may be some action in between, and you pick up the next uh, dialogue tag and wank, oh, he's still speaking? So that's often an important uh, thing to note too. If it's confusing, if a reader that just jump, jumps into the scene knowing anybody's style of talking or anything like that, comes in and reads it and doesn't know who's saying that particular line, you probably need a dialogue tag. Watch how I change the dialogue tags in this scene into something that reads a little bit more smoothly. The general rule for using dialogue tags is don't use them if you don't need to, and use them if it would otherwise be confusing who's speaking, and try not to vary from said and asked unless it's important and not available from the context what sort of way someone is speaking. I hope you found this helpful, and if you want to check out any of my previous publications, here are a couple of books you can check out.